So let me explain you how this is gonna go. First I will show you the app, then you will say on comments that Plasma is crap, then someone from KDE will read the comment, and then I will get all the blame. To skip all these unpleasant situations, I will force reverse psychology to you, so I will say the following application is crap already, and so you need something new to say. Sneaky plan? Now, crap or no crap, this app is encapsulating some concepts from Kirigami Design, and I want to quickly demo those. And I will start from the source code of course. For start we have the invent KDE domain that runs on a GitLab instance, so the KDE is moving to that, and that's definitely one of the best airing initiatives for them, I believe. The next thing I want to show you is that Calendory last commit was 4 months ago, so it isn't a very active project. Oh, and also? It is written with a C rather a K. End of days. Doom upon the world. You will all get burned in hell. Okay, so let's close this and finally reveal Calendory. That's the first screen when we open the app, and it isn't pretty. Actually I'm now even thinking to drop the whole video, but... And the show will go on with tasks and events that is basically the same thing. So here we can see the events, if it was actually working because it doesn't so we see nothing. And then we have this option to add a new event. I won't get bothered with the top navigation because I have no idea what's happening, but on this panel are some of the things I want to show you. But before, let me scale the window to see the phone mode. What's really impressive is Calendory working on Android 2 with the same code base, and in general Plasma apps are quite more portable than GNOME apps. And that's a huge bonus for developers. I mean, I don't believe people will ever work on something big for just running on Linux desktop, right? Anyway, let's return back to events and try to create a new event. Okay, first thing I want to show you is the date picker popover, and remember all those are supposed to work on touch. Then it is the repeat popover, and god these super tiny scales. They even happen on QML apps. Next is the reminders widget, and to be a bit positive, KDE guys are working to fix those buttons. They have some nice mockups already. And finally we have the time picker that is my favorite, and actually the main reason I uploaded this video. In the inner cycle we have the hours, and on outer cycle the minutes. This design may steal some extra space, but I like it visualizes a real clock, while everything is both an indicator and a button at the same time. So that was all, and I got that app from KDE Flatpak Store, because Plasma has that too. And now let me cheer 5 times. Death to all snap! 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 